Good morning everyone. I'm Shraddha. Let's talk about today's market outlook. Today SGX Nifty indicates negative opening for Indian markets and it's lower by 81.50 points. It means 15,730.50 levels. US stocks hit a fresh new all-time high. Bond yields trade near 1.25% and Asian markets opened on a weak note. In this case, let's see what should be your strategy for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Nifty finds support around 15,700 while 15,850 will act as resistance. Bank Nifty finds support around 34,450 while 34,800 will act as resistance. Let's talk about stock ideas for intraday traders and derivative future intraday. You can buy Tata Steel future above 1,479. Stop loss you can keep at 1,469 and target you can keep at 1,490. Calls that were recommended to you in cash intraday Indian hotels kindly hold, hold a position with given target and stop loss. In derivative future call intraday, we had suggested for Balkrishna Industries. Buy call have hit high of 2388.70. I hope you guys have booked the profits. In cash intraday, we had recommended for Obera Reality. The target have already been achieved in it. Let's talk about stock and news. So, firstly, Tech Mahindra, JK Lakshmi Siemens, and TVS Motor Company. Talking about Tech Mahindra, then the company reported a sharp increase in profit at 1,353.2 crores in quarter 1 financial year 22. Revenue rose to 10,197.6 crores. Talking about JK Lakshmi Seaman, then company reported higher standalone net profit at 118.7 crores in quarter 1. Revenue surged to 1,231.5 crores. Discussing about TVS Motor Company, then the company reported profit of 53.1 crores in quarter 1. Revenue jumped to 3,934.4 crores. Let's look towards a quick glimpse about uh, IPO updates. Then firstly, Glenmark Life Sciences IPO. Uh, the uh, Glenmark Life Sciences was actually subscribed 44.17 times at the end of day 3 of bidding. IPO received bids for 66.32 crores shares against an offer of 1.5 crores shares. Talking about Rolex Rings IPO, then Rolex Rings IPO was subscribed 9.26 times at the end of day 2 of bidding. The IPO received bids for 5.26 crores, shares against an offer of 56 lakh shares. Talking about results for the day, then Britannia Industries, Sun Pharma Industries, UPL, Bandhan Bank, Indian Oil Corporation, Aditya Birla Fashion and Retail, Allied Digital Services, Asahi India Glass, Bharat Heavy Electricals and there are few more companies whose results will be announced today. Let's talk about FII and DII data. Then foreign institution investors net sold shares worth Rs 866.26 crores, while domestic institutional investors net purchased worth Rs 2046.96 crores in the Indian equity market on July 29 as per provisional data available on NSE. That's it for Morning Outlook. Anything related to stock market, you would like to ask me questions, please do ask me on a comment section. I'll meet you again post-market hours. So don't miss to join me today evening at 5.30pm. And also do not forget to subscribe our 5 Pesa channel. Till then, stay tuned. Bye.